After almost two months of taking a thrifting break because we've been dealing with all of this, I'm so excited to finally go back to my happy place. So let's head on thrifting. Oh man, it's been so long that I've said this, but hey Siri, take me to Red, White & Blue Thrift Store. Getting directions to Red, White & Blue Thrift Store. Let's go! Well, hey babes, what is up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, you guys, these last couple of weeks, like I'm not even joking when I say the renovations, the moving, the packing, the unpacking, it's been driving me so crazy. And this girl is in definite need of some retail therapy, specifically thrifting retail therapy. So today I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I search for some new pieces to add into my wardrobe that will be perfect items to transition, especially from the summer to the fall. I never head into the thrift store without inspiration, so I wanna head to Instagram like usual, and I asked the experts, I asked all of you guys to give me some ideas on what I should thrift for today. But a lot of you are so ready to transition into fall. We've got pinstripes, animal print, vests, and so many requests for fall thrifting. So come thrift with me for summer outfits that can also transition into the fall, but also make it modest. Let's go! Okay babes, I am like overwhelmed in the absolute best way. Oh my god, look at these little already getting uh, sidetracked. It's been so long since I've been thrifting for clothes. Every time I've come here recently, I've been thrifting the home sections. So we're really gonna jump from section to section today. I have my entire thrift list from you guys as well as a bunch of inspiration pictures. And I think that the outfit that I'm wearing today, the boots and this white dress is a pretty good indication of the kind of style that I'm going for. Very feminine and girly, but pieces that can work in the summer, but you can also transition into the fall. So let's head on in and start off with the tops. All right, so here in the tops, of course, I'm gonna be checking out the white section in every single category because I feel like white is so versatile for every single season. I absolutely love it to layer two. And anything that feels kind of prairie or cottage core, I love. This is a size large though, so I'm gonna pass it up, but I love this frill detail on it. Oh my gosh, this top is so precious. Look at this tie up detail and I love the flower embroidery on it. Such a gorgeous piece and I love that it's got the sleeves too. And who said that when you're thrifting, you can't look for good basics? This pocket t-shirt, I actually really like shirts like this. Even with a pair of denim, they're such great basics to have. And this one feels like it's barely been worn too. I'm not the biggest fan of V-necks, but I do love flowy shirts like this. I think this one is also worth trying. Just feels very airy and coastal too. And okay, I think this one could be so intriguing to try. There was something on my Pinterest board that was very similar to this. Kind of like a t-shirt blouse, but I love the details on it. So many good white tops today, guys. Okay, we're definitely not done looking through the whites, but I still want to venture and get myself some colors because we are still in August. It's still hot and it's going to be hot for a while. Yeah. Yellow is just my sunshine color, so I came over to this section right over here. And these two tops I find so adorable. This one from Loft is actually a linen top. I think it is such a beautiful shade of yellow. I do have to try it on and make sure that if I do get it, I don't shrink this because I tend to do that by accident. And then this one I love so much. It is a size large though. I don't know how it's going to fit, especially here in the arms. But just look at the detailing of this. How beautiful. Definitely one of those Pinterest kind of tops. And as much as I love yellow, I also love blue. And honestly, I already know I got to control myself when it comes to the denim tops because I have so many of them already that I love. Pieces just like this. I mean, these are such great summer to fall transitional outfits because you could definitely wear them with a pair of shorts, but also with some longer jeans too for a denim on denim look, which is so great for fall. But Haley, you've got too much of these already. Pass it on. And then when it comes to the autumn colors just like these, these pull me so much for the fall season. I don't think I'm fully, fully there yet, but I have a feeling for our next thrifting video, it's going to be all fall themed and we're going to be focusing on so many of these warm tone colors. So something else that was huge on your guys' list was knits and cardigans to throw over dresses and I just found this one in a beautiful green color that seems to be like such a cute tie top for only $3.99 even to layer this cardigan on a white dress like the one I'm wearing I think would look so good together oh guys this denim long sleeve from Levi's is absolutely perfect such a perfect shade of blue also I know I have a lot but this one looks more like a slim fit so I'm tempted to try because this is truly a fall essential I'm just keeping my eye out for some fun cardigans and you guys <gasps> look at this piece you know how much I am obsessed with all of my lace cardies. I actually don't have a single one in a long sleeve and this is so precious. Just such a great way to add an extra layer for summer and a piece like this can even work for the fall too. Only $3.99 also. I'm in love. So many good finds today. Ugh, you guys, I know we're not supposed to be thrifting for fall yet, but for $12.99, this is a cashmere sweater and it's so soft and it's like a perfect neutral color. I don't know, it's really thin. Even to wear as something that I can kind of throw over 
on my shoulders as a style element. I, I think I'm gonna try it. All right, guys, hear me out. An aesthetic that I'm kind of into lately, I wanna call it pirate cheek. Lots of white, a little bit more oversized, some fun and bold accessories. I feel like this top right here kind of encompasses the idea perfectly. It's got that like natural fiber material with slightly wider sleeves. And the collar, I don't know, I have a vision for it. Stay tuned to see if we can make it work. All right, I'm feeling pretty satisfied with all of the tops that we thrifted, and now let's head into the bottoms. I'm gonna be looking for pieces that, again, will transition into the fall very well. Think denim skirts, midi skirts, shorts that are obviously like a little bit longer. The great thing about plaid and gingham print, it's really popular in the summer, but it can work for fall as well. And of course, some fun pattern pants. I always love it coming around this season. What I love about them is that they're the easiest way to put an outfit together. I mean, look, you have a cool pair of pants, you literally just pair it with a t-shirt and you're done. So stripes, plaid, gingham, those are always patterns that I kind of like skim through and try to find just like this these pants are absolutely incredible i don't know if they're gonna fit me but they're an anthropology pair of pants for 3.99 that is genuinely such a good deal and i love the blue pinstripes on these i can definitely take them through the different seasons even with this top over here that would be such a good outfit combo but truly when it comes to bottoms i just find myself gravitating towards skirts so much more denim skirts in different lengths midi skirts i like too and i'm specifically looking for some skirts that can really make a statement so i can pair it with a simple top and have a ready to go outfit you guys i just went through all of the skirts and I'm shocked shocked there was no skirt jackpot today usually I find so many here this time I actually only found one that I do really like and here it is right over here I actually really love the green color I think this will be such a great transitional piece from summer to fall the length looks perfect and I love how flowy it is too it's Amanda Smith too which is a 90s brand that I really love you know what this one skirt made up for the fact that we didn't find any others okay onto a section that was a major request for you guys so many of you I guess when you think fall you think of vests and I have to agree I love vests in the fall time especially denim vests. I was able to find this one right over here. Brand new with tags from Universal Threads. I actually have one in a darker tone that I personally like better, but these are so great as layering pieces, especially heading into early fall. And then this one I found is super intriguing too. You know how much I love the gingham print pattern. This is more of like an outerwear vest, but I think it would be so good just to add a bit of pattern and texture to any outfit. A part of me really wants to try it on because this print is one that's hard for me to pass up. Well guys, you know what? Hopefully what we didn't find in skirts, we will make up for it here in the dresses. Because dresses have honestly been my favorite lately. The fact that you can only wear one piece, accessorize it with some fun shoes and a fun bag, and you're done. It's literally the best. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open for some fun dresses that are just very easy to pair. You can never go wrong with white dresses just like this. And I see a couple options here. I personally really like the dresses that do have some sleeves on them. I really love this one. You can obviously see there's a certain style of dresses that I like. This one is an extra extra large though. If it was in a smaller size, then I definitely Definitely would have picked this up so beautiful but look at this i was able to find such a similar dress to the one i just picked up but in a full denim vibe <gasps> with boots just like this such an easy piece and a statement on its own for sure taking it oh my god am i really shopping for jackets right now it's okay it's just for fun unless i'm absolutely obsessed with one we're not gonna buy it <laughs> the pattern on this one is actually pretty cool and it feels like a genuine leather also oh my god <gasps> I love the tone of this. This is American Eagle Outfitters, but it's 100% leather, like a genuine leather jacket. And I absolutely love this tone. I already have one brown leather jacket, but it's more of like a blazer jacket. This is more of a sporty one. And then a really good black leather jacket is one I've been wanting too. This Jones New York one, we might as well just try it. Trying on this black one. I do love the feel, but I personally feel like the shoulders are a little bit too broad for my liking. This one, I just really love the stitching. Cool leather jackets like this. It just does something to me. I love the way that it looks, but you could see in the back over here, again, one or two sizes too big. And then the brown one. Okay, guys, this is like a perfect moto jacket. Obviously not with what I'm wearing, but it fits so well. And it's only $5.99 too. Not with a dress, but with a pair of jeans. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Taking this for sure. Six bucks for a real leather jacket. Six dollars. Thank you. And you guys, I usually never really check out the black section, but this was popping out at me. And just as I was looking through the denim and denim shirts, I actually don't have a single black denim or dark denim piece. And this one is from Polo Ralph Lauren for $9.99, but it's also brand new with tags, which is kind of unreal. This is a perfect fall transitional piece for layering for sure. All right, guys, we got an entire cart full of stuff. Truly, I'm really excited about so many of these pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and try them all on. Gonna definitely take a while, but good thing 
I've gotten my bodysuit under to make this super quick. Whatever of these pieces I just had to take on home, we're gonna make such great outfits with, so stay tuned. But you guys, the one piece that I did have to show you in person because I'm leaving it behind is this top. The one with the embroidered flowers, I love so much, but guys, it's just, it's way too big. I pulled it super tight, but you can just see, it's like too big. And remember, I did tell you guys, you gotta hold me accountable not to take things that don't fit me right and that I'll say I'll take to a tailor because it just never happens. So gonna leave this one behind for another lucky one to enjoy. So heading into bags, accessories, shoes, I have to say, I've been kind of like looking through and it is slim pickings when it comes to the bags today. By the way, what, is it, what does it mean when people say slim pickings? Does that mean I can't find anything? Cause that's what I'm trying to say. With the transition to fall, I definitely love sticking to neutrals, but I'm not finding any shapes that I'm obsessed with. These are the kind of bags that I'm really looking for. Like the big oversized slouchy, something I could just throw my stuff in, but everything just seems a little bit too small and structured for my taste. And even with the shoes too, just no luck really today. Nothing that pulls my eye just yet but at least somebody got lucky with the shoes i found these really cute great condition adidas for naomi now that she's walking i can finally start shopping shoes for her since she actually wears them i love the holographic color too <laughs> And please, please, please be patient with me. This setup, it's not cute, okay? But everything is still in boxes. I still gotta decorate, still gotta unpack. But we are working on it, okay? There's so many different places here that I can possibly film. So I'm gonna try things out. We'll see what we like. But back to the reason that you guys are here. Let's go on ahead and try on some of these pieces that I thrifted with very much keeping in mind what I'm wearing in the summer and how I can kind of transition it into the fall. Truly going into the thrift store shopping for clothes for the first time in two months was very overwhelming. Searching around, I really just wanted to see what it was that pulled my eye and what I wanted to try out and I'm so excited to go ahead and try them on and hopefully give you guys some inspo on what you can add for your early fall wish list let's do it okay seriously you guys this dress it deserves the full little spin because I'm so obsessed with this let me just say denim dresses please 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 add them to your thrift list they are the perfect transitional pieces to go in from the summer segueing into the fall especially here's a hot take in darker denim colors people have been really hating on dark denim for a while and I don't know why because I feel like especially in the fall time once things get a little bit cooler this tone of denim especially with brown and black looks so good together got this dress for just $12.99 but green tags were 50% off I love that it fits more loose in the upper body and pay attention when you're looking for dresses try to find dresses that have this kind of like tiered effect especially when the tier I feel like starts right at your belly button instead of under your bust I feel like this is the most flattering area seriously this summer I developed a new love for dresses especially dresses that like flow like this when you turn around and I just love it I already you know I'm gonna wear this on repeat. Oh, you guys, how I've missed my boots so much. I've been waiting for the weather to get a little bit chillier, just like a little bit, just so I can pull these out again. But how freaking cute is this outfit? Say it with me, take a summer piece, make it transitional for fall. So this mini skirt right here, you could very much have created such a summery outfit with it by pairing it with like lighter pieces, a white top, something with spaghetti straps, a sandal. That's why I wanted to get a skirt like this. I thought it was so versatile for every season. It was $5.99. 50% off too. So how did I pair it for the upcoming fall months? Thin crew neck knits, okay? Especially in these neutral colors. This is the softest thing that I put on my body in a long time. It's a full cashmere sweater that I got for $12.99. Super worth it. So many different ways to style it. You can fully have it tucked out and only have the skirt peeking a little bit underneath. But I personally like to do a small tuck so you can see a little bit more of the skirt. And then as much as you compare this look with the sneaker and a sandal, I obviously think the boots make it very fall. Tying in the brown and the shoes with the brown a strap in this bag and all around I just love all the neutral tones in this and then the slight pop of color you have in the green but I already know I can wear this a million and one ways and here's just one that makes it very early fall friendly okay so here's a perfect outfit example to show you guys if you're someone who wants to lean more into wearing the long sleeves in the early fall this is a really really great way to do it you could still pair it with shorts still make it feel very summery but again it's all about the accessories truly with like a leather bag and some sandals this would be a perfect summer outfit but once you add in the boots and the black bag this feels like the perfect end of summer early fall look right remember how i mentioned to you guys i'm very into the whole pirate chic look i just love tops that are big and sheer very pirate-esque like this one that i got for literally 3.99 i mean i love it it is the perfect thing to throw over anything especially if you go ahead and add a jacket on top of it remember this leather jacket that we picked up genuine leather if you guys don't believe me it says right there in the tag and it was 5.99 i'm telling you thrift store probably saw american eagle and they're like oh american eagle cheap brand Okay, well, 
whole price of well. But then when you really look at the tag, you're like 100% genuine leather. That is not cheap. <laughs> and $5.99 is such a score. So if you want to make this even more fall appropriate, you can then go and pair a leather jacket on top. And because the shirt underneath is just so big and so flowy, I actually really like the way that this looks also. Oh, I mean, come on. This leather jacket just fits so well. I love it. Love it, love it so much. Hits me right at the perfect spot. It's got that little button detail here that every leather jacket has that I honestly just really like. I have no idea what students in college are wearing these days, but Haley in uni, as Canadians say, this is something I'd wear for the fall season for sure. In true fall style, of course I had to do one denim on denim fit. Let me just say, you guys, I think I would like this outfit a lot more if my shorts were not distressed with holes in the bottom. I just can't find my other denim shorts. Like I said, I can't find anything in this house, but I love this combination so much. A denim on denim outfit, but hear me out. Instead of blue denim on blue denim, you go with a black denim on a blue denim and it looks so good. It's insane to me that I was able to pick up this denim button down brand new with tags from Ralph Lauren for just $9.99. Is that not crazy? Let me just say the fit is absolutely perfect. I love that it like cinches right at the arms and it feels just oversized enough that it's a little bit slouchy but still has a form-fitting feel. Denim with the cowboy boots is gonna be my go-to combination always, always, always. Like I said, the only thing I would've changed about this outfit, I like that there's a stressing here in the bottom but I don't like the fact that these shorts have holes in it. So just imagine if it was like solid shorts. I would've liked that a lot better. And I know a lot of you guys are always asking, Haley, like what is your style? What is your aesthetic? What kind of outfit do you feel like the most you in? I very much think that this would be a very true personal style, very real to me outfit that I feel so comfortable in and so cute and do. The boots, the denim on denim, the touches of brown accents. I mean, this just screams Haley to me. I love the button details on this top as well. They're just so different. And finding denim shirts that have gold or brass button accents instead of silver is so rare. So I really feel like this piece was made for me. Love this outfit so much, but what do you guys think? Well, all right, babes, do you feel it? Do you feel like we dipped our toe into the upcoming fall season? No, really, I didn't go crazy. I didn't go ham when it came to this because I really just haven't been thrifting in so long. And to be honest, I lost a little bit of my sense of what it is I even want to wear because I guess with this whole moving and packing stage of life, I've literally not prioritized fashion at all. I've prioritized comfort over everything else, especially living in a reno zone. But now that the house is finally slowly coming in order, I have this appeal again to start wearing outfits that make me feel good. So this thrift with me is definitely like a little taste of what is to come. And I'm so excited to take you guys along with the thrift trips to come. If you guys are watching up to this point, then comment down below fall flutters. I don't know if you guys watch Love Island, they talk about fanny flutters all the time. I'm getting the fall flutters right now. So if you're feeling those fall flutters, then comment that down below. And, and also while you're down there, let me know what fall trends you want me to thrift for in my next video, which is going to be thrifting your fall wish list. I basically thrifted based off of your guys' recommendations. So comment down below styles, trends, specific pieces, or even things that you're not sure about, but you want me to try to thrift. Maybe it's a trend that you're thinking of trying for yourself, but you need some styling ideas on how to wear it and I'll basically take your answers along with my Instagram answers and I'll be sure to include those answers in my next thrifting video but with all that thank you so much for watching I hope that I gave you some fall flutters too and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one love you